What's up, everybody? I'm here with Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland. You guys were really, were really proud of Nina. She finally put her titties away. But you know, the sad thing about her titties not being out, no one's gonna watch the interview. Well, oh, American down. Do we, do we, oh God! Doing... Stop the interview. Hold this flag. Get your gun out. Get your gun out, Sean. That's a travesty. Oh man, look at these losers. Tape it back up. What kind up. of janky interviews is this, guys? I thought you were professionals. Sean, hold on. Oh, we can't block a star. This is one of the stars. It's probably God. Pennsylvania. One of the original, original states. Yeah. The first 13. I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, that's how it worked. No, I don't think this. Uh, I did. I off oh, the axe. No, dude. I I went to college. Oh, sh for what? Uh, creative writing. Oh man. Oh, yeah. You see, here we are. <laughs> Super creative, you guys. It's useless. You didn't get your GED or anything? No, f that. Yeah, no, you, I guess you didn't really need to. All right, ready? All What's right. up, everybody? Yeah. I'm here with Sean Strickland. Yeah, we're really proud of Nina. She finally put her titties away, I but the only sad thing about that is no one's going to watch your uh, interviews now. You know what? Um, yeah, I need to right. ask you. <laughs> I think the people want to know. When you take these like selfies with your big old titties and you put these like yeah. captions that say big things coming. Yeah. Is that like a clickbait or are you like that naive to it? Uh, no, it's clickbait. I mean, you are wearing a charm bracelet like you're in the f***ing seventh grade. It's but... clickbait. Okay. Yeah. I like clickbait. No, it builds my engagement. So my DMs are very different from my actual uh, like story posts. Yeah. Is your gun okay? Well, you know, I figure like since we're doing America. Are you going to put your magazine out? Oh, is there well, one I can't in the have chamber? A, I can't have a loaded gun. You don't want it to, I don't want no, your gun to okay, fall It's okay, it's okay, it's a Glock. It's not really an American gun, but we'll point right at your cameraman. All right, let's continue this interview. Oh, also, Nina. just so you know, my cameraman is not my boyfriend. He is a videographer and editor. My boyfriend is the director and producer of all things Nina drama. Oh, man, now we clear that shit up. Yeah. All right, Nina, so what the f*** are we doing here? What's going on? Is that We're, a light for your gun? It's a light for my gun. So, you guys, generally, I don't carry open because if you carry open, you're the first one to get shot. So, I like to conceal. But Nina said this is going to be super American. So, it's what's super more? super American. With your flag <laughs> coming down. <laughs> all right, Nina. So, here we are. We got guns. We got axes. Yeah, man. You got your notebook. I got my notebook. You got your charm bracelet. I'm all buttoned up. Titties are all covered Titties up. Titties are all covered up so you can f***ing concentrate. Because you got That's the, funny. I actually, the attention span of a goldfish, bro. Yeah, It's no, like I'm, no one can show when you I f***ing, left my hijab when at When you home. crossed the border, did you hold this as you as you crossed the border? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, I was wearing this. Oh, oh my gosh. Take that f***ing flag up. Oh. Anyways, you guys, Nina can hold like a blanket. No, you, know, you wear it. Wear with it. this modern day, this with is for you. Free starter, we're just gonna no, do some good editing. No, we're just gonna editing. keep going. All right, continue. All right, Nina. So you got your blanket, you got your f***ing charm bracelet, you got your boyfriend, you got the camera crew. What you got else? your boots, you got your gun, you got, got my your Harley. keys. You got your Harley. All right, continue. Dude, life is f***ing good. Your titties are away. My titties are away. Are you can real finally or breathe. <laughs> they're f***ing real. No, they're f***ing naughty. She's so Yeah, poor. dude. No, they're she's why would I? Why would I pay to have one bigger than the other? <laughs> nah, continue, continue. Jesus Christ! Open your f***ing notebook. Yeah, let's pretend like we're in a seventh grade with a charm bracelet. Tell me about you, the report you did. Last fight, you won. Okay. The can was empty. Was it empty? Dude, how do you not f***ing know? Listen, I was just trying to f***ing kill a German. Do you think I was paying attention to a f***ing can? Yeah, you were holding it. The can was empty. Remember well, I asked you, I said, dude, is the why is the can empty? Is it empty? And you didn't know because you never had to hold the can. And then you had to hold the can. So, you guys, in the terms of monster money, after when you're sponsored by Monster, mm -hmm. if you want the monster money, you hold the f***ing can. Hold the so can. So I hold the f***ing can like the prostitute I am and I get my f***ing money. Yeah. But that being said, I do like Monster. Inland Empire, where I grew up. Good. Yeah. I like them too. Okay. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how's your eye? It's uh, pretty good, man. I didn't get pink eye, you know. You did. I, I didn't get impregnated. You, get? you think he like touched his butt before I mean, he pulled you in the eye? <laughs> German, man. He's probably put his finger somewhere f***ing dirty. All right. So continue. <laughs> what What now, Nina? Continue um, the interview. Where's your boat? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my freaking god, this can't be it. <laughs> oh, funny girl. Oh man. No, really, Sean, where's, where's, your, where's your boyfriend when you're going on all these dates with these bodybuilders? 
What are you talking about? <laughs> so, yes, Where's I left boat? my boat on the side of the road because... On the 15. On the 15 freeway because it was too expensive to tow. And it was a cheap boat. It was a cheap and boat. And now I'm fighting for a f***ing title. Yep. So I can afford a boat better than my 26, 1991 McGregor sailboat. Dude, I... Uh... What kind of bikes that man have? Ah, oh, Indian, gay bike. Oh, it's a gay bike? Yeah, Indian It's bike. an Indian? Indian, yeah. Those are gay bikes? Yeah, they're a little gay. Harley's better. Harley's not a gay bike. You know what? It's an alpha bike? No, I don't know. It's a man. big swinging bike. So here's the thing, Nina. Is it diesel? No, Nina. Is it, is no, it electric? Let me explain to you, Nina. I grew up, you guys, in the 1990s, right? What does that mean? No, you didn't. Yeah, I grew up in the 90s. 1990s. Aren't you 33? Yeah. So, like, a big portion of my childhood was in the 90s. That's and true. Guys, oh, yeah, I grew up in the 90s, too. You know, like all kids from the 90s in the Inland Empire, both our parents worked. Yep. They both suck. So I grew up watching a lot of f***ing movies, man. What do you, what do you, what's the best movie ever? The f***ing Terminator. What does the Terminator do? F***ing rides people. motorcycles, f***ing has yeah. guns. Like, yeah. so pretty much I'm just one collaboration of the 1990s. You're you're a product of the Terminator. Yeah, I'm a product of the <laughs> Terminator, man. Get her done. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go to the next I question. Saw God your, damn you. You know, I saw your boat uh, when I was on the highway. You didn't f***ing bring it back for me? No, I pulled over to record, to, to, to film it, to see if it was your boat, to send it to you. And it was your boat, and it, it was, like, entirely rusted. Well, yeah, the wheels fell off. That's why I left. The f***ing wheels rusted <laughs> yes. off your yes. boat. What did you do, Sean? What the hell happened? And when you were sailing it, uh, it was sinking. Yeah, it was sinking. So, I well, like. Well, I mean, we had like, some problems, you... you guys, but we f***ing made it. But here's the thing, Nina. I'm a f***ing man. I ride <laughs> motorcycles. I shoot guns. I, do you know how to sell a boat? Yeah. You know how to sell a boat? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's the Jenniker? It's a port and starburst. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Does your, <laughs> does your man know how to sell a boat? Did do do, do I man, look like I can sell boats? Does your man? Does your man know how to fix your truck? Dude, you realize that we don't, we could pay someone to fix that. Yeah. So what yeah. I'm saying, Nina, I'm not gonna f when you're waste sitting my next, time when you're fixing, sitting next fixing, to this fixing, no, you know what level I would of do? masculinity. It's honestly, it's not even masculinity. It's more like intelligence. So instead of buying a boat off Craigslist for 7K, we would invest in a more expensive boat that doesn't have like rusted wheels and would break down on the side of the road. Cause that's, that's, you had your, you had your girl and your brother on the boat. What if that sunk? In the middle of the trip from fucking San Diego to Catalina, you're gonna swim all the way. It would what, be a good was the, story. what was the top? No, it'd be yeah. a horrible story. You know, no I'm one would know man. where you were. I would have. I would have went and got a great white, built a fucking raft. <laughs> it's so stupid. Like, Nina, let me tell you something right now. No, I'm gonna stop right now. In the middle of no, the Nina, ocean, me, if you me, sunk, what would you let do? Let me stop. Let me stop right now. He shushed me. For all. <laughs> guys, we're on the side of the road right now. So, anyways, yeah. so. For all the situations that could happen right now, yeah, every bad situation, yeah, you understand you're safer with me than everybody here, boyfriend included. Well, somebody it, comes up and tries to fight you, I shoot him. Yeah, or, but I got I this shoot. axe. No, get the f out. I Call got this f axe, bro. Right, what's your and next then point? what? Then we all get in my truck and we ride off. Your f motorcycle showed up with a dead battery. <laughs> this is you. This is who. <laughs> no, said, this is who Sean dead. is. He he rides. He sails boats that sink. He rides trucks that break down. And he shows up on a motorcycle no, with a dead got, battery. No, and he says that I'm safer with him. I planned it out. We got a nice. No, you didn't plan anything. I can pop anything. start this bitch. I'm on a hill. You didn't plan anything. All right. What's question number two? God damn it, Nina. <laughs> yeah, you carry that flag. I'm gonna Dude, call. this I'm is what you're gonna carry I'm gonna call when you're in, in Australia. I'm gonna call immigration, send your ass back. Dude, this is gonna be you in Australia. All right, continue. What's the question number? Okay, two? Uh, you've been fighting a lot of people on the internet. Have I? Uh, yeah, Bruce Ooh. Buffer. Oh, I didn't fight Bruce Buffer. He just started running his f***ing mouth. Yeah. Wait, he's the announcer, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, is he still an announcer? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he's still. He's here. not retired. No, dude. Hey, man, that plastic surgery really needs another. And he needs to get a, a little facelift going on. <laughs> Bruce Buffer. So is he gonna announce my fight? Yes. Oh, that's gonna be awkward. As <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, do you think he's gonna be awkward? Uh, if he sees this part of the 
<laughs> interview than okay. Big C. No, I won't no, be No, but I don't understand. Why doesn't he like me? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. know. I, I don't really know why. Oh my God, look at these f***ing c behind you. They're taking, they're taking pictures of the red Mustang. You f***ing c All right, sorry. Okay. All right, continue the interview. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be awkward as f I, I totally didn't even con contemplate that one. Yeah, he announces all the fights, like pay-per-view fights and oh, stuff. Yeah. He announced yeah. also like your fight against Alex Pereira. Did he really? Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, he was there. I'm sorry, I'm too busy getting knocked out by a Brazilian to notice. Dude, that was brutal. Are you okay? You're just gonna keep doing that. You're I just gonna mean, hold it. Let's chill. Okay, ready? Um, Khalil Roundtree? Uh, is it a, am I beefing with Khalil or is he in a f***ing cold? Dude, I'm trying to save his life. Dude, I know. Yeah, I'm trying, trying to, to save, save his life. life. Yeah. And and uh, the other guy. There's someone driving behind us. Because we look like fucking idiots, Nina. No, we look fucking cool as. F we look like fucking idiots. Dude, we Continue. look like Americans. <laughs> Nothing about you look American. Dude, everything about me looks American. The only thing American about you is when you marry your husband for a green card. <laughs> All right, continue. Um. For a million dollars, would you join Choice Center Leadership? For a million dollars, would you join and and like attend all their like events and stuff and their group meetings? Would you join? I mean, I can beat bucks? myself half for, for less. Of course, I'd go join Choice and go do their chance. What's their thing? The, the three? What do they do? The shocker? Is that like their? The shocker. Yeah, like they have like a the salute. Pink and one they do the, a shocker. Yeah. They do that. Yeah, they have a salute. Choice. What is it? What do they yeah, do? Yeah, no. There? Let me tell you something about Khalil, guys. This is facts. This is, a, here's the thing. Here's the thing. These are guys. actual, these are factual statements. So with Khalil, I always thought, I always thought he was just like a beta feminist. The man could fight. The man could fight. I always thought he was a beta feminist. And then as I started getting to know him and he came in and confronted me, I realized he's just f***ing <laughs> So now it's not as funny to make fun of him. Because before it was like, oh man, I'm making fun of this beta feminist. But now I'm understanding that I'm making fun of a Is that a ladybug on your arm? No, that's a beetle. <laughs> All right, continue. So yeah, Khalil, I make fun of him. I feel bad about it. So for a million dollars, you would join yeah, Choice Yeah, join it. Why the f*** not? I want to suck no d*** for a million dollars, but I do enjoy <laughs> Center. Uh, Keith Lee? Oh yeah, f***ing Keith Lee. That dirty little motherfucker, dude. That's a dirty little piece of What shit. happened? So... He was, oh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy you brought this up. And Chris Curtis, you're a weak little mother weasel too. Well, I had a question about, about Chris Curtis too. Yeah, no. So <laughs> Keith Lee comes up to me. Mind you, I have no idea who the f this guy is. You know, I think he's a TikToker. He's a food guy, trends extreme. And he comes up to me and I shit you not. He like starts telling me how he doesn't like me. And I'm just like, dude, why the f do I care? Like, I know you have a brother that's a UFC. He was in the UFC, he f sucks. But you know, I guess you have a brother there. So anyways, he starts going on and on about how I'm a racist and this and that. And I'm just kind of like, what the fuck? Like, so me, because I'm an ass, starts saying, no, nah, dude, I'm not a racist. I have more black women than you. F***ed. Like, how am I a racist? Because I'm trying to be a dickhead, right? Yeah. And then I, and then I was like, don't even trip, bro. I'm sure you got a little white woman at home like all the black guys do. And at that very moment, he said, nah, f*** that. I don't like white people. I said, nah, f*** that. I don't like white people. And I was like, damn. And I looked at Chris Curtis and Jason Manley, and I was like, you guys don't f***ing stick up for me? And these little weak just put their head down. And later on, Chris Curtis was like, try being a black man in America. I hear that all the time. Like, that's just, that me. I'm like, dude, you're a f***ing weasel. So what I'm saying, Keith Lee, you're a dirty f***ing liar. You're a f***ing piece of s***. And... You can say a lot about me. You can say a lot about me. But to my knowledge, mm -hmm. I don't f***ing lie. I exaggerate some shit here and there. But for the most part, what I say is f***ing true. And you going on the f***ing TikTok, you bleeding heart, dirty little f***ing b and getting up there oh, and boy. saying, oh, no, he didn't say that. I unequivocally lie. You, sir, are a f***ing piece of shit and you're a f***ing liar. And if you would have just f***ing owned it and said I said it and I didn't mean it, I would have f***ing took it that way. But since you f***ing did that, you're a f***ing weasel <clears throat> you might not be a liar but you may be autistic yeah no for sure autistic <laughs> well and here's the thing you guys here's the thing guys i've never really struggled with lying dude i've struggled with a lot of things in life like i mean i've struggled with a lot of things some vices you know i'm learning how not to be a 
fucking cheater. I'm trying to be honest with my girl. I'm trying to be a better man. Yeah. But one thing I've never been is a liar. Yeah. And I always thought that, like, you know, it's because I'm a moral man. And I realized it just says I'm fucking autistic. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't fucking. Things come to my fucking head and I just, I just blurred them the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, 100%. I, I might be a little autistic. But you're not a liar. But I'm, I'm definitely not a liar. I mean, I have lied. Generally, my general rule of thumb is I only lie to girls. I'm trying to fuck. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good to know. And it no. usually ends up with me saying, hey, I know I really like you. This is going somewhere. Yeah, but you don't. You're just trying to fuck. Well, you know, here's the thing. You know, when your d- heart, when your d- is hard, sometimes you just don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Um, my question was, I like Chris Chris. I think he's cool. I and mean, besides I like him being a weak little fuck, yeah, for sure. But I was, my other question was, I w- w- was wondering why when, um, uh, Keith Lee called him, he didn't just f***ing lie and say like, nah, Sean didn't say that. Like, even if he thought that you did. Wait, no, no, what did Chris say? Remember there was a TikTok that went around and um, Keith was recording. He called like people that were there. It was like Uh. Chris Curtis and this other guy. And Chris Curtis was like, He's like, no, nah, man, like, you didn't say that. Well, that's yada, what I'm yada, saying. Yada. That's and, what I'm like, saying. Let me tell you right now. He was recording it. Let I me tell you right now. Like, Chris Curtis. No, nah, you said that. Let me tell you right <laughs> now. <laughs> let me tell you right now, Chris Curtis, one of my best friends, closest friends, <laughs> but you're a f-ing coward. And I went and confronted Kurt about that later. And he was like, I honestly just don't remember. And I'm like, are you f-ing, like, you mother After he said it, for days after, I gave you such a hard time. So for you to say that you don't remember, and that's just a coward, shit, dude. It's just a, f-ing, it's just Kurt being a f-ing coward. But you got a lot of hate on the internet for that. I don't give a f-ing, man. I don't yeah. give a f-ing, go f-ing, make it go f-ing himself. If it f-ing, it's kind of funny. I'm saying you got a lot of hate on the internet for that. Yeah, no. Chris Curtis again was a, was a coward. That was a coward, shit, Kurt. And even now, when I look at you, you're my best friend. But I judge you a little bit. You know, it's like your word was called, and you and you deflected and. That's a hard one for me. All right, it's getting deep. We'll move on. Yeah. Um, you ask questions. And you answer them, truthfully. I mean, what, yeah, like, again, if I ever, and, 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 and you knowing me, if I ever lied to you, if I ever said anything that wasn't true that of you knowing. Yeah, my tits weren't hanging out. They were just, like, propped nicely. In no, that's, shirt. I mean, they're definitely they, okay, cleavage. There's, there was cleavage, but they weren't hanging out. Yeah, no, there's definitely cleavage. But they weren't hanging out. Okay, continue. All right, next question. Um, can we yeah, talk? guys, this got really f-ing deep there, man. It just, it's kind of hard, you know, because I expect Keith Lee to be a f-ing loser, but I expected more from Chris Curtis. And funny enough, funny enough, his brother, his brother hit up the, the gym and was like, hey, I think I'm going to fly down and try to settle this shit with Sean Strickland. And he I'll, wanted to fight you? Yeah. And I was like, bro, you just got <laughs> knocked out like two weeks ago. Like, do you really want this f-ing smoke? But I was really sad that he didn't come, so. Are you going to show up? Kevin Lee, if you ever want to come f-ing handle this, make my day, my <laughs> Can we talk about Tony Ferguson for a second? Oh, sh- yeah. Because I have a story. Oh, he's f-ing nuts. He's f-ing nuts, dude. Tony Ferguson's f-ing nuts. Nah, I think like... Um, Another true story. Like he... Okay, I'll tell, I'll tell my story and then maybe you could... T- no, you know what? You tell your story first and then I'll tell my story. So Tony Ferguson opened up like he wanted to do a private gym. And I was like, you know, like, whatever, like, whatever, Ferguson, like, I'll stop by. He's like, no, Sean, I really want you part of the team. I was like, dude, like, it's kind of out of the way, but I'll stop by. And he's like, but if you train here, you can't train anywhere else. You got to, all the cool techniques I show you, like, we got to keep them here. You can't go spar Marvin. You can't go do this. And, like, I mean, it was a borderline, like, just, it's just nuts. And then, anyways, he recruited one of my buddies. I told my buddies, I'm like, dude, don't f***ing do it. He's Uh f***ing nuts. Yep. At some point, he's going to attack you and fabricate shit. And then I think like three months <clears> later, he called me and was like, dude, you're right. Tony Ferguson's nuts. And I don't want to make fun of Tony Ferguson because, again, we're not dealing with somebody stupid. We're dealing with somebody who is like mentally ill. Like, I mean, the guy, the guy is, he's really f***ed up. Yeah. He, I met him. So I met him once, uh, I want to say like a year and a half ago. And he was super cool. And... He was very nice, and uh, he told me, um, always keep your stick on the ice and never let your meat hang. And so when it was, I was like, oh, that's weird. And then I, I, you know, we took a photo and I did a video and posted it. And um, he, 
I didn't see him again until this last media day I was at in Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. And it was media day, so I was there, and the UFC set it up so that like fighters would come uh, as part of their Okay, okay, we're getting, we're getting there, Nina. Come on so, now, spit it out. So, so, Tony, Sun's going down. so Tony comes in, and he sees me, and he recognizes me. Okay. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? And like everything was cool in the beginning. It was super chill. We did this weird little like dance off, and yeah. then he gets next to me, and he's like, all right, so let's get this going. So then I asked him the question. I said, hey, what did you mean when you said what you said about the meatloaf and the stick on the ice? The conversation was, was going well until it just wasn't anymore and he was like you don't know it's not for you you're not a man and then it got like really uh, weird and uncomfortable and aggressive and he was like you never even posted it he's like I was so super nice to you and you never even posted on social media I checked and I said Tony that's not true I did post it are you f***ing listening yeah I'm listening to everything I mean you're a woman the there's thing about women you guys <gasps> let me tell you something about damn. women let me tell you I'm telling women. you the story no, let me tell you about some women you guys they talk so f***ing much you got to have a good filter so 20% of what she says, maybe a little less, is really f***ing important. But 80% of the <laughs> she says, you just got to just like, just filter it out. So at this point where Tony Ferguson's f***ing nuts, they did a f***ing dance off. She asked me to post it. So we're getting there. He now posted we're... it. So, um, so then he didn't believe me and I tried to show him. And then he goes, Dana needs to, he said, Dana, you need to fire this girl and get somebody that's better at their job. And I was like, whoa. I was like, Tony, you just need to learn how to read. And then I think that kind of set him off. But you're a little f***ing nuts too. Like there's something wrong with you. Oh, uh, yeah. But here's the thing about your nuts. You're like, you're not like delusional nuts. You're just kind of like man. I don't want to say manic, but like, mm, yeah. You got some highs. You got some highs, man. There's yeah. I don't. I don't have. I don't have any lows though. That's the weird part. Drugs, man. Drugs. Yeah. All that cocaine. Just a lot of highs. Yeah, I know. But anyways, what I'm telling you, I agree. Tony Ferguson's. He nuts. walked out of the interview, and he's like, "I'm not doing this," shit. and he left, and then he blocked me on Instagram. <laughs> Here's the thing, Ferguson. You are fucking nuts, but like blocking a woman on Instagram because she offended you, that's some beta male shit, dude. Well, I didn't offend him. But I'm just and saying. I wish him all the best and I think he's a great he's a great fighter. Like I wish him all the best, but it just it just got really weird really fast. Yeah, you're sweaty as yeah, you're sweaty telling it's hot, you know, like you're getting nervous. Tony Ferguson's intimidating you. He's not around. Don't worry. He's not he had gonna... his. It was all blades and shades. Yeah, blades and shades. All right. Yeah, Tony's earns the fuck out, you guys. Uh, do you plan on doing any wrestling? In your oh, fight? that's a good question. Well, you guys, here's the thing, man. I train for it. I've been wrestling a lot in camp, but you know, sometimes when you get up there and you look at another man, you know, and you think to myself, I want to stand and bang with this guy. You want to bang? So I probably should wrestle, but that's probably not gonna happen. Yeah. It's not going to happen. But I should wrestle. I've been planning to wrestle. Don't you have a, a black belt? Yeah, yeah, I got one of those. In jujitsu? Yeah, I got one a while ago. Yeah. This is bullshit. It doesn't work. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work, you guys. Jujitsu don't work. <laughs> don't work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's good to know. Um, yeah, it's in my trunk somewhere in the black belt. I don't know. I lost my gi. I don't wear it anymore. You just carry your gun instead of the black belt. Yeah, why do you need a black belt? <laughs> why need, yeah, why do you need a black belt when you got a gun? Yeah. Okay, continue. Yeah, so yeah, no, I might wrestle. I might not wrestle. Do you you watch any tape or anything? No, fights? no, I've actually never really seen Izzy fight. Okay. What does he do? He like does a lot of kicks and shit, right? Yeah, he's he's pretty he's pretty good at striking. He's the kind of lanky too. I know lanky, he like counters a lot. Counters a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. Yeah, he does a lot of cool shit though. Yeah. And uh, he's a good kickbox. That's what I've been told. Yeah, yeah but I haven't really watched a fight. Yeah, but, but I mean, you're I mean, I've seen right some start. highlights of him just because it's been forced upon me in life because he's knocked out a lot of my <laughs> I'm not one of them. No, I don't think so. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, he, you know, it's going to be good times. Um, I'm excited. Yeah, you sound super excited. <sighs> when you first started your career, did you ever visualize yourself here? No, I never visualized myself being in the desert with a Mexican girl holding an American flag. With your gun? Yeah, I know, right? What a, what a weird turn of events. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I no. mean, here in your career. No, no, you guys. Even there's moments where I wake up and I'm like, oh, shit, I'm fighting for a world title. How the f did that happen? What do you mean, how the f did that happen? Because you're f***ing great. What are you yeah, about? you guys, you know, I'm just kind of playing it by ear, taking it as it comes. <laughs> Who, you says know? That? Who says that? <laughs> you're not playing it by ear. Dude, you're here for a f***ing reason. You know, guys, I'm making money. I'm f***ing, you know, I'm buying motorcycles, buying new guns, you know. Like, life's f***ing good, man. Life is f***ing good. Talking to Nina, your titties are away. They're away. <laughs> I'll dude. tell you, this is, this is the last interview I ever do. A 
me and I better bring those f***ing titties out. They're away, dude. Okay, um, who would win in a street fight, you or Bradley Martin? Who the f*** is Bradley Martin? He's 260. I don't give a f who's Bradley Martin. He's a, he's, he's a, he's big on social media. He's a really fit dude. Is he an MMA fighter? No, uh, no. But he, he has some background in jujitsu wrestling. I don't know this Bradley Martin. Yeah, but he's, if, he's 260. Bradley Martin, if you're here right now, yeah. and I could get away with it, I would take your f***ing life. Oh. I would kill you. I would put, I wouldn't even my gun. I'd put my gun down and I would f***ing so take sick. your f***ing life and Bradley Martin I don't know you but Nina gave me a little backstory on you just you challenge people challenges people Mother f f I'm in Vegas you show the f up you little Dude, sign so a waiver and we'll see how many bones we could break in your face so I mean what do you want to tell you you're like, so my, intense you're so intense. Like, what do you want to tell you like yeah Bradley Martin we're That's going such an intense thing to say. like if he was if he was right here yeah and he was like hey Sean I think I could beat you in a street fight I would get up, I'd put my gun down. Yeah, put the gun I'd down. And I'd fucking backhand him like the little bitch he is. Now for our segment of things Sean said versus things Sean didn't say. I've never struggled with being a liar. It doesn't come easy for me. Maybe I'm just autistic. Yeah, that's a fact, you guys. <laughs> I might be a little So you said that? Yeah, I might be a little <laughs> <laughs> I realize there are two kinds of fat people, one I hate and the other I like. Yeah, that's a fact, you guys. No, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you why, you guys. We live in a world of lies. F***ing lies. Keith Lee lies. Chris Curtis lies. Nobody values honesty or truth. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I've, I've, I've said my fair share of lies. So whenever you hear f***ing fat people say that they're beautiful and this... No, you're not f***ing beautiful. You're not f***ing beautiful. Your f***ing belly button looks like you're <laughs> Like, <laughs> you can't... You can't see... You can't see your f***ing... Without lifting up the roll, you're fucking, you know, your heart's struggling. Like you're not beautiful. You're not anything. You have a fucking problem. You have a mental disability. You can't stop fucking eating. So yeah, that's exactly what I said. <coughs> Matthew McConaughey is such a fucking. He is such a fucking. <laughs> hey guys, here's the thing. Clearly, I'm a gun guy, right? I love. Guns. Everybody needs a gun, you know. Every woman needs a gun. Every man needs a gun. Every child needs a gun. You know, <laughs> just probably not. Give the kids guns. Right? Give the kids what they need. So you take these dirty more guns. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's my first gun. I was in elementary school. I never shot anything up. So in it, elementary school, yeah, I had you my, had it or you stole it? No, I had. My mom bought me a seven millimeter. I had a you know, for what? Just in America. But did you have like notebooks and, and, <laughs> and, and had like guns. pencils and sh you just had a gun? No, but I had guns. I had, my brother got his first 1911 in 7th grade. What's a 1911? It's like a man's gun, 45. Anyways. Is that like a specific no, time in history that was important? In 1912, up. the Titanic sank. Oh, no sh Yeah, they should have a gun yeah. that sinks It's boats. also It's also called a Filipino gun for reasons. What is that? For what reasons? Apparently Filipinos are hard to put down. Oh, so they made oh, a oh, 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 oh. <laughs> moving on to the so, next So anyways, question. moving on. So yeah, they, what the, what they do, Nina, they put take them. these f***ing, yeah, it's not going to fit. Why? Oh yeah, no, it's going to fit, you're right. Yeah, it's So they, 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 they take, the, they look at us like dumb f***ing rednecks. Who so looks at us? So they take someone like Matthew, the government. Oh, the government. So they take someone like Matthew McConaughey and they yeah. have him because like, they say dumb f***ing rednecks. Listen to this guy f***ing talk with his accent. Listen to his you want a gun because you need got a Okay, moving on. Guys. I don't yeah. have the hand Government strength. bad. Matt McConaughey's a What's up, guys? All right, continue. How do you put this bullet I'll show you. in? Continue. I'll, I'll show you. Continue. Continue the interview. Your boyfriend's going to leave you. Actually, now you're paying the bills. Andrew Tate is the definition of a piece of shit. Yeah, for sure. How do you feel about Andrew Tate? Mm. You want to jump on one of his cams, make some real money? Absolutely not, no. How do you feel about Andrew Tate? Um, I think... Don't burn any bridges here now. We got a lot of Andrew Tate fans. Uh, no, I don't, I don't you really... You better put that face down. We don't want to see your Tinder going off. I don't have a Tinder. I've never had one of those All right, things. continue, f***ing Anina.
Do you like Andrew Tate or not? Um, I, I think he's he's easier to listen to now than he was in the beginning. I think in the beginning. Well, because now he's more of a con artist. Now he's he's yeah. he's found a better con I mean, that it's, works. It's kind of hard to listen to him talk about women when that's how he made the majority of his money to begin with. Is he, just by pretending to be a woman. Well, that's the, the the irony is that he was pretending to be a woman on the internet talking well, to men who were interested in the women whose money who were making money by camming for him, and then he was doing all of the talking. Yeah. And, and I was it like, that's like kind of to me, you guys. Now we talk. Now it's kind of like inter I mean, it's Here's interesting. Here's the thing: if you're behind a keyboard and you're care. pretending to be a woman and you're like telling guys you want to suck their d via little tap taps, Andrew Tate might be a got a little gay in him. I mean, I guess. Right. No, I mean, I, he's I'm probably wrote. <laughs> you, you guys got to understand, but as you say, he did it for money. But he, he was having money. deep. No, he, he would, when he was pretending to be these women. Yeah. He was like. Well, I just find it interesting. He was telling guys how he much he can't. shames a lot of women for having OnlyFans or, or but he's whatever a whore. the case may be. But he kind of. But, but Andrew Tate's a f piece like, of sh**. You know? He's a piece of sh**. All right, continue. It's getting f dark. Nina's the nicest person I've ever met. And sometimes I say things that are mean because I'm not used to people being nice to me. So. You said that right? Oh yeah, yeah, I said that all right. <laughs> you know, Nina, Nina's actually really nice, you guys. Like she's uh, every time like somebody comes and wants to give me money, you know, she's usually the one that plugs me in. You I know, try to plug you yeah, in. Nina, Nina's actually a solid person. You know, she doesn't cheat on her boyfriend that I know of. Like I oh. don't cheat on my boyfriend. So I don't know. Here's the thing, guys. I don't know if she f**ks around. I don't know this. Sean, but, I don't. F Around. Well, you should never listen to women. They usually lie. Oh, okay. But from what I know, <laughs> I don't lie. I'm autistic. From what I know about <laughs> Nina and the guys I know she's interviewed, not one of these guys said, "Hey, Nina sucked me off." So, as of now, thank you, dude. I got so much shit from you for what you said about John Jones the first time I met you. Yeah. Holy. But I. Good. I don't have a personal relationship with John Jones. Oh no! Don't backtrack. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that was the start of it. Who knows? No, it wasn't. Right, I, continue, continue. I got that interview through the social team of the UFC. Continue. Can f anyone off for that? Okay. Uh, questions from your fans. Can you cook? No. Oh. I I could make a, a pretty solid raw piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys start my follow my Instagram, I started eating raw meat because I was too I was too lazy to cook it. Dude, you. Dumb. No, you can't get Bro, sick of it. Bro, what do you mean? No, you can get beef, parasites. Beef, beef, beef. Oh yeah, dude, pour soda on beef. Watch all the parasites and larvae leave that. Sh don't eat. I don't don't believe, eat raw don't meat before that, your fight. I don't believe that one bit. Don't eat raw meat before your fight. You might right. get like. No, I'll be fine. Guys. Or Men something. eat raw meat. Women cook it. I do like your meat. I bet you like your meat. I don't really eat cooked. meat. You don't eat meat. Nah, bro. You're a vegan, vegetarian. What's your favorite video game? You're a vegetarian. What's your favorite video game? Uh, I tell you what, you guys, I only play video games in Fight Camp because life is exceptionally boring, right? Mm -hmm. Can't go out to eat, can't really have a good time. So I play video games in Fight Camp. Currently playing The Witcher. The Witcher? Yeah, good game. That's cool. Yeah, it's a cool fuck game. Okay, cool. And then right after this fight, I'll delete it and I won't play video games so I get another fight. And it's only two weeks before every fight. Yeah. yeah. But it helps you like decompress and relax a little bit? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Um, how many 10 year olds could you fight at once? With your hands, not with the the accessories. A lot, man. Yeah. I mean, an infinite amount. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, how African are you? You know what, you guys? <laughs> There's actually a funny story about that one. I used to train at the gym that's brought me black millennia. Really saw people, good people, right? Mm-hmm. And I really wanted to be black. <laughs> Shut the f up. <laughs> so I took a DNA test, and I was going to go... <laughs> And I was going to go pin it on the wall and walk in there and say, <laughs> what up? <laughs> don't <laughs> say in the it. Blank. Don't say it. But you guys. Oh, my God. Turns Come out on. I don't have one ounce of black in me. Yeah, I could have told you that. But, man, I really hope for it. <laughs> it's crazy. You would think I'd be black, you know? No, I mean, no one thinks that. What? I got, I got a shit dad. I don't pay taxes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I check off a lot of the fucking bubbles here, man. I'm more black than I am white, statistically speaking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, if you could be an animal, what animal would you be? Oh, man. Ah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Really A dog. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. You don't know? Gorilla? No, I don't know, man. I mean, what, what like animal a gets a lot of What animal gets a lot of 
Dolphins? Yeah, maybe dolphin. I get a lot of <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. A monkey. Sean's gonna be a dolphin. <laughs> get all the dolphin. It would be great. Dude, uh, dolphins. They also do drugs. They. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah they don't do that. <laughs> Okay, the people. Although it's getting dark, but be careful. We might, <laughs> we might wrap up. Dude, what the? <laughs> your, boy, your boyfriend might get forcibly penetrated. By you? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Dude, link up with Andrew Tate. Yeah, okay, man. people want to know: Will long hair Sean Strickland make a comeback? No, no. You know what it was? This is before your black stage. Yeah, before when you were black tars, stage. When you, you were guys, Tarzan. When I was younger. Uh huh. You know, I grew up a little rough. I grew up a little rough. Yeah. Dad, I, piece of uh, shit, as we all know these things. Yep. And I went through like this little American history X phase from like sixth grade to about ninth grade. Sixth to ninth grade. That's right. a long time. Yeah, it's a long time to be <laughs> a little shaved head with swastikas on the arm, right? Yeah. So anyways, once I started training, I realized I'm not racist. I've just suffered severe abuse. Right. And I'm an angry kid and I'm f***ed up. Yes. So I wanted to get away from it. So I grew my hair out really long and I just like ah, wanted okay. to, and I wanted to run away from that image. Like an identity. Like you yeah, like to... I wanted to change my I understand identity. That. And yeah. then, you know, later on in life, once I accepted myself and I became okay with myself, I was like, I could shave my head again and not be a f***ing racist. So here we are, Sean Strickland in all his glory. Amazing, I have some gifts for you. Okay, it's getting dark, you guys. Well, we, the interview is far from over, so just hold on a second. <laughs> Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I just realized, how are you going to take it home? I got saddlebags. Oh, I'm you do? I'm prepared for this Oh, uh, I got you a bunch. I got you extra large and extra, extra large because you said extra, extra large will help you hide your guns. So, generally, you guys, you want to carry an extra, extra large shirt? Yeah, you want to carry one. Because it helps hide guns better? Yeah. Well, unless they're splayed out but I and disassembled no, I on a big cooler. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's that So one. yeah, a bunch of white shirts, you guys. I got America. you a bunch of white t-shirts. Appreciate it. I usually buy my t-shirts in bulk. Well, too. good. Thank you. Those You're are welcome. Those are nice shirts. Yeah, these are good ones. I was going to get you a really, really nice one, but then I, I usually saw... go to Walmart and I get the... Uh... Oh, yeah, these are the Target ones. Yeah, you, what, what, these is are this? Good. what does this say? This is a brand, this is a brand of white shirt I, I wear. Uh, athletic Works. Yeah, it's the cheapest white shirt at Walmart. Okay, well, this, this will last you a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you flip flops. You know I wear rainbows, right? I'm from Southern California. This is like yeah. This is Southern California. Yeah, I got you new ones because your last ones were nasty. Uh, you're very sweet. Thank you. Okay, that's Thanks. weird. Don't okay, yeah. say that yeah, to you, me. Yeah, All right, give me, just put them away. You. Is that what you wanted? Thank you. Nina. You're Thank you for the gift. I'm the nicest person that you've ever met. <laughs> oh no, yeah, the nicest person I've ever met. Wait, wait, don't grab it like that because this gonna fall out. Okay. For your feet, your little foot masks. <laughs> wrong with you because <laughs> they look like they need some love and attention oh yeah well thank you Nina that's very sweet of you guys no, so all the gifts you gonna pull a prostitute out of here next or what <laughs> no I actually pulled never mind I'm not going anywhere I'm yeah, not going don't, whatever that is don't say it it's soap Ball. <laughs> Ball no soap. but this one's organic soap it's like handmade organic soap because you said that soap's bad for you but this one's not bad for you because it doesn't no. have any of those synthetic let me tell you I don't I use this soap my nuts are immaculate what about your boyfriend does he keep it pretty well groomed yeah he's very clean no he, he's he much wait, wait, wait he shaved he has a uh, he has shaved balls why are you you're like obsessed with like I'm just curious just I just way... want the, I think that people want to know I don't I don't think they want to know you as know, much as you want to know. Come on, just let us know. Is the ball shaved? Just f***ing open the gifts I gave you. Yeah, you guys, f***ing soap, man. Hey, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, soap and You got soap. Damn, you dropped the soap. <laughs> it's right if you have a lot of keys. <laughs> it's a key ring for all your keys. Oh, man. You used to buy me some bullets. No, <laughs> I didn't. Not yet. What's this one? Oh, okay. And then uh, I got you extra key ring. Oh, it's great. I'll put it on the key ring. Look, I'll put it on yeah. the other carabiner. Wait, I have... In red. <laughs> oh, that's red. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Good night, Nina. Yeah. And then I got you this because you like to repair stuff. Oh, wait, now we're talking about this kind of money. Yeah. Let's go. Is it? How much is on this motherfucker? 
It's 50 bucks. Oh, let's go. That's <laughs> why <laughs> now we're talking to you guys. Buy me f***ing shoes and white shirts. He's giving me the f***ing out of the depot. Yeah. Oh, that's a win, dude. That's it's a, a win. win. That's what you wanted? Yeah, I mean, I like I like the depot, you guys. Way better than Lowe's. You find way more competent people at the depot. I'll tell at you Home Depot. I'll, trying, tell you, oh, story. I'll tell you a good story about, okay, home depot. about, about the depot. There's a guy, Steve. Here. And not in California. And he taught me how to be a man. Steve did at Home yeah, Depot. Home yeah. <laughs> Steve from Home Depot. Okay. Like, he never told me necessarily how to wire a house. Like, when I wanted to go buy a sub panel and wire the house, yeah. he never said, Sean, this is how you do it so you die. You don't die. But what oh. he did is he made me believe in myself to do it. <laughs> so he gave you the self belief you so never Steve, had. <laughs> you don't f have an Instagram. You're probably dead now, but man, I f miss you, Steve, wherever the f you're at, yeah. you know? Now yeah. you just you just like weld things with no shirt on and no. you like to keep yourself. Me and all the me time. and Steve, we had like a, a, a friendship and mm -hmm. then he told me one day, he's like, Sean, <laughs> I'm retiring. <laughs> oh, no, was you oh. And I was like I was like, God damn, Steve, you know, like I'm gonna miss you, dude. You've been a good guy to me, you've always helped me with my electrical needs, <laughs> you know? And now he's gone. And I was like, where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, and he Florida. goes, you know, Sean, I'll tell you, if you ever want to find me, good luck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, oh, oh. So, yeah, my, my electrical mentor kind of, uh, were there. You put, and your f***ing flip-flops. You don't want these? No, I'm going to put them in the f***ing bike. Okay. All right, don't go anywhere, because now we have the most important part of the interview. What's that? Fly the most important <laughs> part of the interview in. Sean. Who the f is this? How's your toe? It's good. <laughs> Who the f is this? <laughs> Nina, I don't want to make you depressed, <laughs> but the f you're about to do is probably not going to work. Hi, Sean. Hello. This Heard is... you have a little issue. <laughs> no issue. <laughs> I no. need my help. No f issue. No help, What's Nina. What's going on? <laughs> this is, this is uh, Andrea. And she's here. <laughs> why do I? Why do I? <laughs> She's one of the best in the business. Why did I do these at interviews? At toes, and wants to assess your feet and see if you would like a, a, a little pedicure. First of all, I won't get a pedicure, but I'll show you what I got going on here. Yeah, let's see what you got going on here. Ugh. Look at the infamous toe. She's wearing a hazmat suit so, because it's deadly. <laughs> this is what I got going on here. Holy moly. <laughs> Let me yeah. see. It got, did it get worse or did Yeah, it so what happens is you guys, I box a lot, so I'm on my toes, and this always rips. And then I had a horse step on this toe. Horse, well, not a whore, he had a horse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would have like, preferred a whore, but you know, as we all, right? <laughs> so half my nail doesn't grow back, and it's probably never gonna grow back because it's dead. So any recommendations? Don't I use anybody a, with that toe. I use a lot, I use a lot of super glue. She, so she brought a whole kit. No, I'm not letting anybody touch me. I mean, do I look like a fucking <laughs> to you? She, she, she wore we a hazmat suit. You. I mean, she wore on. a hazmat no, suit. I mean, I'll take it, but no so one's no touching one gets my feet. We gotta prep you. But you don't even want to like trim trim this. These? If you would have brought a prostitute, I might be more. You don't want to trim with, these? No, I don't want to trim my. This is what a about fuck, a little callus? Like this a little is a man's. Foot. I'm told. Right? Nina. She works with UFC fighters. True story. Yeah, she does. She works with you. What do you do? Fighters. Defeat? Are you a she, feet person? She, she like helps with situations I like prep this. Him, get him ready preps him, gets him ready. Yeah, no, He's I'm not good. Gay. Nina, I love you, but fucking no. <laughs> Who the f do you think I am, Nina? Like, do I look like Sean O'Malley? You're Sean Strickland. Do I look like Sean O'Malley? Okay, so what can, what can he do to help this situation? I, I, what I do is I use super glue. I super glue this one up all the time. But, but, how can we get this toenail to? What if it's like a hybrid gel? No, no it's dead. Extension. It's, it's you can add an extension. <laughs> 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 think we're doing here, guys? What about the other toe? I mean, I'll show you. It's the same damn Let's thing, you know. I had, I literally had a horse step on this toe too. Well, not a whore. Don't get excited. This one's a little better, but you can see how, you can see how it doesn't grow. I don't think the toe is dead, though, Sean. No. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's not dead. Oh, can you do it? <laughs> no. So the under the nail is dead. See all this? It doesn't like so. This will never grow back. This is all dead. 
we could definitely add an extension. What if we just what is that? What does like, that mean? An extension, like a like a nail? What if we just like like cut? cut <laughs> we just we just shave a little bit. Just shave a little off. Yeah, them. Nina, I love you guys, and guys, I don't know why the f I put up with Nina. I have no idea why the f I put up with Nina. I don't even know why I f can do these interviews at this point. You know, she doesn't bring her f titties out like. She does it. Uh, for you. <laughs> I put them away for you. But what can about? You do, can you do something that's very masculine? Just clip the toenail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. A little, a little trim, you know. Get rid of some calories. Gotta prep you for the. <laughs> <laughs> no, my. Hey, I even brought some polish, man. Listen, you guys. I love you guys, and I do. I buy your bullshit all the time. I mean, I really do. But you even better not buy me a prostitute. <laughs> well, I hear you. That's something we might have made you truck bounce for. I actually, guys, I say that, but I don't cheat on I my girlfriend. I don't think you, I don't think. But you guys, I, I always joke about f***ing prostitutes. Yeah. I have never f***ed a hooker that I know of. Have <laughs> I had sex with a hooker? Maybe. Yes. But it is 2023, you guys. At this point, I mean, how do you know these days? But I've never paid for it. You never paid for sex. Yeah, so I've never f***ed a hooker that I know of, okay. or at least in that transaction. Okay. And I've also never cheated on my girlfriend. So as I'm going through this journey of making money, uh -huh. I'm trying to be a better person, right? Uh -huh. I'm trying to do the right f***ing thing. Uh -huh. I'm trying not to f*** the neighbor. I'm trying not to go to jail. I'm trying to pay my f***ing taxes. I'm trying to be a better f***ing man. Yeah. And that's a hard f***ing thing to do, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, it's but, hard. No, but you're doing a good job. I mean, how many top U UFC fighters don't f***ing cheat on their wives? How many? They all f***ing do. They all f***ing do. They all f***ing do, you guys. Not this f***ing guy. No. And it's a f***ing struggle. And I f***ing struggle with it every day. I tell my girlfriend all the time, I'm like, baby, I struggle with this. It's hard. Yeah. But I'm f***ing doing it. I'm being a better f***ing man. Yeah. And guys, life's working out for me. I'm making more money. I still got to talk to Nina. She's coming to her f***ing titties now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm changed. Yeah, she's f***ing changed. I'm changed. Yeah, she's changed. She's yeah. not f***ing sucking off John Jones for any news anymore. <laughs> I hate you so much. So, you guys, what I'm trying to say, you guys, I talk a lot of sh I do a lot of crazy sh but <clears throat> as I get older, I'm becoming a better f***ing man. Yeah. Since I met you, though, you've always been and, chill. I don't feel like you're any... Here's... Like, I mean, I don't Like, know. you take the no I think you're really hard on yourself. Like, no, I'm because I'm Since hard I on myself met you, because... But you've always been a good guy. Like yeah. you've never been weird with me, which like, is which is very rare because a lot of people are very fucking weird with me, and I have to tell a lot of people to go fuck themselves. But like you've never been weird with me. You've always been like an upfront, honest person. Well, you know, here's the thing, guys. Yeah. Like, life is hard. Life's fucking hard. You know, back in like back 20, 30 years ago, to cheat on your woman, it was fucking hard. You had to go out and you had to go to the bar. You had to you had to work to cheat. Yeah. 2023, man, we can get all, give me 10 minutes on my cell phone. I'll get all the fucking whores here. You know, we'll get yeah. fucking, we'll get Nina's boyfriend fucking balls deep in some fucking at any moment. I don't think. 10 minutes. We'll, think we'll make so. it happen. I don't think so. So what I'm saying, you guys, now in modern day life, it's fucking difficult. It's difficult to be a good man, but I tell you what, the rewards are better. Yeah. The rewards are better when you don't fall on that and you do the right things. You don't cheat. You pay your fucking taxes. It's more harmony. It's hard though, you know, because there's sometimes, <laughs> but there's sometimes that I'd like to go and commit a <clears throat> random act of violence and, and be a f***ing sh bag. It's hard. I want to all the time. But I feel like it's hard all the time, but that's what's making you a better person. I think you're going to be a good dad. Oh, I don't know about that. I, know. I think you'd be a good dad. Yeah, I don't know about that, guys. Dude, I mean, look at you. I, I mean, look at you. <laughs> look well, at you. It's getting dark. I, but it's true. I think you're going to be a good dad. Well, it's because I don't know about have kids, but what I'm telling you guys. I think you will have like, what I'm telling you guys, you take people like the Nelk Boys. I didn't interview those guys. Nelk Boys. Nelk Boys. I don't know yeah. what the f***ing Nelk Boy is. Nelk Boys. It's f***ing gay. But these beta male motherfuckers, dude. Oh. These beta male motherfuckers, dude. Here we go. They dress like they're like f***ing 12 years old. They just feel like they're trying to f*** junior high girls. These men make a lot of f***ing money to be f***ing pathetic. And what we got to do, we got to stop putting these f***ing guys on a pedestal. These fucking dorks, the Sean O'Malley's, the fucking Nelk boys. These fucking guys are fucking losers, bro. They're fucking losers. And at some point, they're going to look in the mirror. They're going to be depressed and sad. So, you know what? Live a better life. Make better decisions. Oh, make better decisions. Oh, I got a gun, you guys. Make better decisions. Do the right things. That's 
father figure knowledge. Yeah. 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 No. You could you could be the father figure that a lot of these guys are lacking. I don't know about that, guys. I'm I think you're doing a good I'm a piece job. Of don't look up to me. I'm I, a piece stop, don't you up. always put yourself down. I don't know why. But here's the thing, you guys. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't think you're. A piece I'm 32 of years old. I've lived a long life of fuckery. I've done a lot of fucked up things, and these things just don't erase. They don't go away. You mm -hmm. know. So as of now, as an adult, I could try to live better, but I've done a lot of fucked up things, and I can't forget about that. Yeah, the only thing you can do is move forward. Though. So, but you're taking that on. You're taking taking all the fucked up shit that happened to you, and you're adapting by adding it. to Yeah, your life but again, now. you can't say that you're not. Here's the thing: like, you can't go and do a fucked up thing. There's no repentance. It's not the fucking Bible. You ain't going to heaven. You are. You are. Your actions are your actions. You gotta yeah. own it. But at least you just move forward. Yeah, you move forward, and you be a better person. Yeah. God damn it. Is this interview done yet? I think you wrap this so up, right? After your pedicure. No, I'm not doing no <laughs> pedicure. After the she wore a hazmat suit yeah. because of the deadly toe. I mean, if you the just deadly fucking toe. If you had just asked me, I would have said that's not gonna fucking happen. I knew he was gonna say no. Yeah. I knew it. What about after your fight? Yeah. When you win. Yeah. I'm gonna see you in Sydney though. Yeah. I'm excited. I'll see you on a media day. I'm gonna see you on media day. Are you gonna be at media day? Yeah. 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 I'll fucking be there. Oh, I'm gonna man. try to have your merch too by then. That's when is that? Real. When are you releasing your fucking merch? I don't know, you guys. Nina hooked me up with somebody. They're doing it. We're doing all the good things. Dude, all the if, right it, things. If, it, if, it, if you leave for Australia before your merch and it's here, it gets to me, I'm gonna bring it with me. I got you. Because right, you gotta yeah. wear that. It's time to go. It's Damn time it. to go home. Let's wrap this shit up. Thank you for coming. Of course. Yeah. All right, everybody. Adios. This is Nina. She's not fucking anybody, guys. You can put that. Thank you. You can put that to rest. I don't know Thank if she you. John Jones or not. I wasn't there for I that. I didn't. But, but everybody Jones. I know, she's, she hasn't fucked anybody I know, and I've asked. I haven't so. fucked anybody. <laughs> yeah. Period. That's why your boyfriend's so angry. <laughs> no, that's not true. He's All right, adios, motherfucker. Adios, motherfucker. <laughs>